One of the questions that I'm asked quite often is, if you're a group leader, how do you determine when people need to turn around or deal with their feet, deal with a cold extremity? And it's a hard question, and there's no easy answer. But the bottom line is that, say you're hiking along with numb toes. The question is, what is the symptom that now suggests that you're going from just having numb toes to now having cold, injured toes? And the answer is, it was a trick question, is that there is nothing. Basically, you go from having numb toes to still having numb toes. So the question is, so what do you do? So what I usually tell people to do is do everything they can to warm their feet up, for example. Let's say it's our feet. And that means you can increase your metabolic heat production by exercising. You can drink some warm fluids. You can put a warm hat on you know, and try to just warm your body so that you vasodilate a little bit. You can jump around, you can swing your feet, stomp your toes. But if none of that works, after some period of time, you just have to do something. So it's what I would call a numbness protocol. So whatever that is for you, I can't give you an exact number, something like 30 minutes or 45 minutes at the outside maybe, um, you have to stop and warm your feet up. Now you have to tell people in your group, most people feel like they don't want to be the deadbeat that says, you know, I got to stop and warm my toes, but better that than ending up with frostbite on an expedition. So how do you do that then? If you've tried everything else and nothing's working, what you really have to do, and in fact, this is a good way to decide who your friends are, because you have to literally pull your jacket and your coat and everything off your belly and have your friend with the cold toes take their boots off, their socks off, stick them up against your warm belly. And there's a moment there where you're not sure if you've made the right decision, but you will be able to warm their, their feet up pretty quickly, just their cold skin against your warm belly. And again, you know, this is a good thing to do with a prospective mate. You could take them out, and if they're unwilling to do this for you, you probably don't want to marry them.